Jacob was here, he would stand up and testify. He'd tell you that I had to wrestle through the night. But on the other side of the midnight, there emerged a brand new me. I know you've had to go through some dark days. I know you had to go through some difficult nights. I know life seemed to knock the wind out of you last year and this year. But I want you to know that on the other side of the midnight, God is getting ready to give birth to a brand new you. I can't promise you that you'll be rich next year, but if you give your life over to God, you'll be rich toward God. And no matter what life sends your way, you'll be able to stand. When everybody around you is falling, you'll be able to stand. And they'll wonder why you're able to stand. You'll know because greater is the one who's within me than the one who is within the world. Jacob got a new name that night. But he also got a new limp. He got a new name, but he got a new limp. He walked with a limp, but he had a new name. He got a new name, but he had a new limp. He walked with a limp, but he had a new name. Had a new name, but he walked with a limp. I'm telling you, don't worry about the fact that you walk with a limp. Everybody walks with a limp. Just allow God to change your name. And if you allow God to change your name, you'll discover that his power is made perfect in weakness. If you ever allow God to change your name, you'll learn to say that when I'm weak, then God is strong. If you ever allow God to change your name, you'll discover that he'll look beyond your faults and see your needs. If you ever allow God to change your name, he'll take your wounds, he'll take your hurt, he'll take your pain and make you a wounded healer. You'll be able to tell somebody, I know what you're going through. I've been through that very thing. I'm walking, but I walk with a limp. And although I walk with a limp, I keep on walking on. I keep on running on. I'll keep on pressing on toward the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Yes! Oh, yes! I'm going to keep on walking even if I have to walk with a limp. I'm going to keep on walking even when life knocks me down, I'm going to surrender to God so that God might be all in me and I might be all that I ought to be. You, you still don't understand. Let me put it to you this way. When I was a little boy, I used to love to watch the cops and robbers show. And uh, I love to see, you know, the good guy chase after the bad guy. But after a while, eventually after, you know, 30 minutes, uh, the good guy would finally catch up to the bad guy, catch him in a warehouse corner. And you know what he would say? He would say, come out with your hands up. We're getting ready to go into a new year. You've been looking for a new you. You've been looking for a way out. You've been looking for an answer. You've been going to this person and that person and they're just as confused as you are. I'm telling you, if you're looking for a way out, you ought to come out with your hands up. You ought to go into this new year. tomorrow will bring but I'm, and what does that mean it, it it means it means this if if you're a bad guy if you've been running this means I surrender 
I'm tired of living life on my own terms. I surrender. Guess what? If, if you're a little baby, if you're a toddler about two years old, you know what that means? It means, Daddy, pick me up. I'm tired of being down here. I need God to pick me up. He's the only one who can pick me up. He's the only one who can pick me up, turn me around, place my feet on solid ground. I, I got one more for you. You know what this means if you're on the winning team. You know what that means. It means touchdown.